Hunter, and it is still January 22nd. It's about 11.33 in the evening. So I've been making videos, edit doing some editing, and then uh, just some other stuff. So anyway, I wanted to show you uh, a gift that I got. This is from one of my coven sisters. Her name is Pixie. And she has her own business. And it's called Pixie's Potions. Let me show you her Facebook page. Sorry guys, I have a mint in my mouth. Let me, let me, let me eat it. <laughs> While I look for her page. This is her page. Pixie's Potions. Okay. So, you can find her on Facebook. And I think that's how she's taking her orders now. It's just through Facebook. Um, I don't think she has a website up just yet. But I could be wrong. So, yeah, you can go on her page. And you can see... You can see pictures of... Her products, soaps, things like that. This is all on her Pixies Potions Facebook page. Okay. Alright. So let me. This is the box that she sent me. It smells good. It smells good. So very sweet of her. Some love mail just for me. <laughs> okay. And guys, look at this cute packaging. Look at this cute packaging. Pixies Potions. I'm all about packaging. You know, I love when something is packaged, you know, just nice. Because it shows the love that went into the package, you know. When you just throw shit in an envelope, there's like no love. There's like, Ugh, you know. But when you take the time to package everything so pretty and you wrap all the little knickknacks it just makes it extra special um and we were doing something in the coven so she needed to send me ten dollars and she sent me some canadian money look at this isn't this awesome like hello this is amazing i'm like what the heck is this i've seen money like middle eastern money because you know my husband when he comes through dubai um, and he has money from Dubai, he has money from Kuwait. So I'm used to seeing that type of money. It's beautiful money too. I'll have to show you when he comes home, um, some of the money. But I've never seen Canadian money. Look how pretty this is. Look, it's so pretty. I said, I'm not going to convert this over. I'm going to keep this. This is so pretty. And I think she says... This is more than $10. Even though it says $10, it's really like, I think, I think she said 12 I can't remember, but still, so pretty. Okay. So everything is all packaged up nice and cute. So if you order from her, you would definitely get your little knickknacks all wrapped up like this. So this right here is energizing. It is a shower melt. And I haven't used any of this yet because I wanted to make a video showing y'all. But, you know, my husband was here and then I hurt my hand. And so life stopped when I sliced my hand. And then, you know, we were spending time together. Then he left. And then I get all of my feelings when he's gone. Then Jake got the flu. You know, like, so I'm like, let me show this stuff because I want to use it. So this is a wax melt. I've never used a wax melt before. Now, I buy a lot of stuff from Lush. And so I'm really like into this type of stuff, but I had never used a, a shower melt. So when you're taking a shower, you just throw that down on the bottom. And this is called energizing. This smells very, very clean. Like, I don't know what fragrance it is, but it smells very clean. Like the way you want to smell when you're taking a shower, right? So I cannot wait to use that. It's not, and her stuff is not overwhelmingly like in your face. Because, you know, if you are one of those that can't take a lot of strong scents or don't like strong scents, this is perfect. Because this smells really good and it's not overwhelming. Got that one. 
Here is another shower melt. This one is peppermint and eucalyptus. Ooh, this one's nice. You know what? Now that Jade has the flu right now, um, when she gets the shower tomorrow, I'm going to put one of these in her shower so she can run that hot water over it and that mint and eucalyptus. And look how they're all shaped like little hearts. Oh my gosh, it's all cute. So cute. This one smells so good. I mean, the, the, the smint. The, the mint and the eucalyptus. Ooh, it's really, I mean, it's clearing my nostrils to smell this. Ooh, it's like sucking on a mint. You know when you eat a peppermint and you're like, I can't breathe. That's what this smells like. Oh yeah, I'm going to tell Jane. Because Jay's got the flu. Can you imagine taking a nice hot shower and that heat hitting this and just releasing? Ooh, I'm excited for her. So she's going to have that. This one is vanilla. Oh, this one smells good. This is a vanilla single. Oh, these are the ones that I like. I really love these. These are vanilla single. These, these are single use uh, soap petals. So, and this is vanilla fragrance. So, these are so dainty. Oh my gosh. Now, this came all the way from Canada. So, she's basing, that's where she lives in Canada. And let me tell you, none of these broke. These are so delicate. Look at these. They're rose petals. Do y'all see that? Look at that. Mm, mm, mm. I'm going to go take me a bath. <laughs> now that I'm showing you all these things. This is amazing. Like, this is so delicate and so dainty. I mean, it really does look like a rose petal. Just beautiful. I mean, Pixie. Oh my gosh. This, these are amazing. It just makes taking a bath so fun, especially if you're a bath person and you are all about making your bath very, very um, special. I mean, come on. Look at this. Would you like to take a bath using these beautiful rose petals? Why, yes, yes, I would. And these are all single use, so you just... I need about 50 of these so I can wash from head to toe. <laughs> Mmm, they smell so good. Vanilla is one of my favorite fragrances. Oh, these are nice. Very nice, very delicate. What a nice gift to give someone, especially if we're going into Valentine's Day right now. Guys, can y'all imagine having some of these, some red ones, pink ones, and mixed with these white ones? Oh, gorgeous. This will make really nice um, Valentine's gifts. So those are single-use vanilla um, petals, rose petals. Okay. <laughs> like, let me see what's in here. Okay, then. Oh, yes, I love this. Okay, so this is the relaxing spray. So you can use this like a linen spray, or you can just use it in your vehicle. You can use it in your house, wherever you want. Um, I love linen sprays. I buy linen sprays from Bath & Body all the time. Right now, the one I have in my bedroom is a lavender and chamomile. And I buy it from Bath & Body and you spray it all over the pillows and stuff. That way when you are... <laughs> and I'm laughing because my husband and I were laying in bed and he goes... He's laying in the bed in the blanket. He's like... He goes... Something smells good. Is that you smelling like that? And I'm like, like what? I got something in my hair. I said, like, I said, smell like what? He goes, smell like, like, like a baby powder. It smells like baby powder somewhere, right? And I was like laughing at him because I'm like, I said, it's not baby powder. I said, it's a lavender and chamomile. It's a linen spray. He goes, he starts laughing because this smells like baby powder. <laughs> but it does. I love linen sprays. And this one is relaxing spray. This smells so good. And look at the bottle. I mean, guys, it comes in a bottle. This is beautiful. And then, after you use this, you know, you could definitely um, order more from her and see if, if you're not about waste. You know, like, if you don't want to um, have, like, she can send you, I don't know, I don't know. Maybe she could send you the refill in another container and you can use it with your old bottle. You know, or use this bottle for something else. Mm. This smells so good. I don't know what she put in here, but it smells amazing. 
Mm. It smells so good. Let me see. It smells very, uh, it's very clean. Almost has a hint of like vanilla, maybe caramel, lavender, those type of scents. I don't know if that's what's in this one. Oh, but it smells so good. Oh, so, so good. Okay. Oh, I love that. Okay. This one is Rose Hip Serum. Okay. I saw when she saw when she was making this, she harvested her own rose hips. Rose hips. Is I saying that right? Rose hips. Rose snip. Rose hip. Rose nips. Am I saying that right? I don't know if that's an N or an I. Rose nips. I think it's rose nips. Let me see. Bup, 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 bup. I want to say it's um, rose nips because um, I know what that is. I just want to be sure. No, it's rose hip. I was right. Rose hip. Such an idiot. <laughs> rose hip. Look, let me show y'all. I saw when she was harvesting the uh, rose hips, and um, she was make she was harvesting this so she could make this serum. So this serum you can use like an oil, and you can use this on your face. Mmm, this smells so good. Let me see. Let me see. It smells so good. I know, I'm the person who's allergic to everything. And here I am, just like, la la la. No, it's amazing. Oh, it feels so good going on. It feels really good and it feels really light. Oh, and it smells so good. And this also comes in a glass bottle. Let me let you, let me tell you a little bit about this. Uh, rose hip is actually the berry of the rose plant. Um, extracted from the actual little, the little uh, berry. Um, there are, it, you can use the oil and it's made into a syrup. Um, the it's been used by Egyptians, Mayans, and the and Native Americans for healing properties. Uh, it corrects dark spots. It reduces scars and fine lines. It hydrates, dries itchy skin. Um, it's an anti it has anti aging properties, protection from age spots, helps with eczema and scarring, boosts the immune system, helps treat um, osteoarthritis. I mean, because you can use it in different in different ways. In this sense, that we're using it as an oil, like a serum. Um, sometimes it is also called a rose hip seed oil. It, also, it is um, known as various wild rose shrubs. So you can use it for face, skin, and hair. So this particular oil, you can use it um, as an oil to, to help with blemishes, acne, and to improve the appearance of dry, damaged skin without clogging pores. For your skin, um, with fatty acids and antioxidants, rosehip oil may prevent blemishes, dryness, while balancing collagen levels beneath the skin. For discolored uh, batches, or uh, I'm sorry, discolored patches, uh, where am I at? Rosehip oils, antioxidants, properties may lighten skin pigment. So you know how sometimes some people have like these little white spots um, on their skin. It could you it, you could use that to help balance it all out. And for your hair, oh, I lost it. And for your hair, it also helps to restore luster and strength. So you can use rosehip seed oil. For hair, um, so basically, like you use any of your other serums, so you can just put a little bit and you can use it in your hair as well. Nice, very very nice. Um, sorry guys, I'm just trying to give y'all a little bit of an insight here. So, just in case you didn't know what rose hip was, I'm like, is this rose nip? I was like, what the rose nip? Rose hip. Okay, good stuff. 
All right. I'm going to take all this downstairs and use it. I got some more stuff to show you. Hold on. Okay. Then she sent me some soaps. I'm super excited to use. I love bar soaps. Do y'all see these cute packaging? I mean, just the bottles and the little the little papers. And I mean, so super simple. So cute. So earthy. This is called Ocean. And she sent this one for my husband. I don't want to open it up because... He told me when he left, don't open my soap. <laughs> like, I won't. <laughs> he wants to use it when he comes back. Oh, that smells so good. You definitely can tell this is. If you like um, soaps that kind of favor more men's soap, like the men's cologne, like cologne-ish smell. That's what this smells like, but not super overpowering. This is basically really a universal soap. You know, but um, it, I can see why it would be for men because it smells very clean, clean, light um, cologne smell. Oh, nice. I said, hurry up so I can use some of it too. Um, this one is Black Raspberry Vanilla. I believe this one is for Jade, but I didn't want her to use it until I showed it. Again, look at this cute packaging. Mm, this smells so good too. I don't want to open... But I want to see. Oh, it smells so good. I don't want to open up her soap either. I'll open one of mine. Th oh, this one is one that I open. This one is um, amber. No, this is not one that I open. This one is amber. Oh, it smells good. Amber smells like you need to be getting ready to go for a date. <laughs> you know that musk smell the very sensual musky smell that's what that has i've been making up some words right muscany 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 muskish muskis muscany oceany <laughs> can y'all oh okay y'all speak murphy language what is that noise it's the wind outside it's like you know hitting the side of the house it's freaking me out okay um what is this? Champaca. Champaca. I don't know what this is. Let me look this up. She told me, and I forgot, because this was right around Christmas time. <sighs> okay. You guys know I forget everything. Okay, let me see. Mmm, smells good. Okay, so you can use this as a soap or as an oil, champaca, but I'm trying to see what it is. I know it's a flower. That I do know. I was trying to give y'all some information, you know, like I did with the rose hip. Let me see if I can find something. Mm, it smells really good. It smells, um, it smells very, um, hold on. I can't do two things at one time. It smells like a flower, but more perfumey. There's another one of those words, perfuming. It smells more perfumish, you know, but not over overbearing. I, I can't find the benefits of this. Ooh, plumeria. I love plumeria. All right, so this smells really, really good. The next one. This one is winter solstice. Mmm, this smells good. This smells like it has some type of mint in it. That's what it smells like to me. Let's open one up, shall we? I'm going to use this one when I go take a bath. Okay, so she has them individually wrapped. So they're not just in the paper. Oh, that smells good. This smells like it has some type of mint in it as well. Like, because it's definitely opened up my nostril. Okay. 
Mmm. It smells good. A little bar of soap. And you know what I like also? These are not um, an overwhelmingly big soap. I buy the bar soaps from... Um, oh, how does she have this all wrapped up so pretty? Let me see. Okay, like this. Okay. You know how... Um, I buy bar soaps from... Um, you know, like the ones that they sell like at TJ Maxx and they sell at Ross. All those specialty soaps that smell like lavender. And I love bar soaps. And then, of course, too, when I go to the farmer's market, there's a, a lady there that sells her homemade soaps. And so I like using soaps like that. However, the only thing with those soaps is that they are so, um, they're so big. And, you know, so you end up with that one bar of soap. For a long time. Okay, I'm trying to see how she did this. Mm -hmm. And then you flip this over. Okay. And then you flip it over this way. Hey, mine didn't come out all cute like hers did. <laughs> okay, we're just gonna like do this because it don't matter because I'm gonna use it when I go downstairs. I tried. Okay, and this one is, um, where's the paper? Because I already had opened this one up. Here it is. This one is Tea Tree Activated Charcoal. Oh, this one I'm super excited to use. I have been wanting a activated charcoal soap for some time. And I see them at the store, and I always forget to get them. And I've been wanting to get an activated charcoal soap. These are really, really good. And this has tea tree oil in it, so... Having the tea tree oil, obviously, you know, that is a great oil to use on your skin. And this activated charcoal also is a really good um, soap to, to help to clean your pores, your skin. I mean, like the activated charcoal toothpaste is really nice to have also. Um, it turns all your mouth black when you're brushing your teeth, but it really does. When I use it, my mouth feels so, so clean. And, um, and it also has a whitener in it. So, you know, the activated charcoal is good for toothpaste. I never use it in a soap, so I'm super, super excited to use this. Um, I'm going to cut it in half, though. Because I'm going to say half for my husband. And, um, and I'm sure I'm going to love it. So I'm going to order some from Pixie. And um, get some more stuff in. Because I love this stuff. And she says that her soap really um, bubbles up really good because that's one thing that I wanted to make sure that it has a good lather in it and she said it, it lathers up really nice so I'm super excited to try all this stuff and also to get Jay to get that um that shower melt um so I just wanted you to see the stuff that she sent me um everything is packaged so cute and she is um she's just started her her uh, business. Let me see if there's anything else on her page that I can show y'all. Um, y'all can find her on Facebook under Pixies Potions. Um, and um, look, like I said, she's based out of Canada, uh, and but she does ship. Some of her soaps are so beautiful, like the way she has them, like decorated, so pretty. Um, yeah, definitely go on there and, and look at all her stuff. Oh, she's got a vanilla bean one. I'm just now looking. She has a vanilla bean and um, the black raspberry smells really good. Oh, I bet the rose smells amazing. Because I, I love, um, I love, uh, what do you call it? Rose smelling stuff. Oh, and something else she told me, the men's shaving kit. She has this men's shaving kit. And she sends it to you in a cigar box. Isn't that not a nice touch? Oh, man, that's amazing. I love her packaging. She has such great packaging. And she also has um, these Lavender Love Pup shampoos. Love Pup shampoos. Shampoo bars. So for your fur babies. I thought that was so, so cute. Um, and she has... Um, a rose body scrub. Yeah, I'm going to have to um, put a, some order. See, here's her rose hips. See, she was harvesting. And she used these rose hips to make her oil. The, the serum that I was using on my face. I love it. I love it. I love to... Oh, my gosh. I forgot about this one, guys. Let me show you this one. I don't remember what this one is called. 
But look, it has a little witch hat on there. Oh my gosh, is that the cutest thing ever? Oh, I want the one with the witchy hat. <laughs> I want them all. I'm definitely going to make, oh my gosh, look at this pretty soap. Yes, I love it. <sighs> I'm going to have to order from Pixie. Um, because I love bath stuff. I love, you know, I just love taking a bath and having some really good smelling soaps and bath salts and oils. I mean, come on. It's all about pampering ourselves, right? Gotta do it. Um, ooh, those vanilla soap petals. Let me tell you guys what I just showed y'all. These, they are so delicate. And I don't know, it just really, really nice. Oh, she had some fall soaps also. Um, let me see what else she's got. Black and purple Tuscan sandalwood soap with crescent moon in beds. Oh my gosh, look at that. Yeah, definitely. Go oh, see, look, this is what it looks like. Pretty, right? Freshly cut. Man. I'm going to hurry up and use myself. <laughs> I'm going to place an order for some more. She's got so many cute ones. Get on her Facebook, guys, and look at her stuff. Again, her Facebook page is Pixie's Potions on Facebook. And get on there and, um, you know, order, self, order yourself some soap. I mean, you know, treat yourself. And what I really love about, about um, businesses like hers, I'm all about supporting local businesses and fellow witches um fellow friends family um you know we all got to help each other to help support one another and yes buying manufactured stuff is always great but you know we all got to start somewhere so get on there guys get on there and order yourself some pixies potions i can't wait i'm gonna go take a bath <laughs> i'm gonna go take a bath i'm gonna use some of my little lavender and I'm going to use my winter solstice soap. I'm super excited about that. And while my bath is running, I'm going to spray my bed with my, um, with my, my spray with this. Oh, and this bottle is just beautiful. I'm going to use this. And then after I wash my face really well, I'm going to put some more of the serum on. It's nice. I'm all about, you know, doing things to keep my skin looking good. All right, guys, um, I hope y'all liked everything that y'all saw. And um, always remember to, you know, help a sister out and get on there at least. Get on there at least and look at her page for me. I would appreciate that so, so much. Pixie is such a sweet, sweet, sweet person. Super sweet. Um, and she, you definitely can see that she puts a lot of love and um, dedication into her work. And just with all the special packaging, the hand-wrapped soaps that she does herself, it's all the extra touches. It's so worth it. At least it is to me. It just shows that somebody really cares about their products when they put that extra touch, you know? All right, guys. As always, love you all and bless it be. Bye.